Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. So I received a care package today from the good folks at SuperClean. If you don't know, SuperClean is a product that is used for degreasing. They make other products as well. But I think they're most uh, well known for their degreaser product. So they sent me a nice little hat, a nice little t-shirt. More importantly, they sent me some of their products to try out. So I thought in this video, what I would do is try out some of these products. So let's just take a look and see what's in this box here. First we have a bottle of, looks like the regular super clean product. And we have a foaming version of the super clean product. A wheel cleaner, an aerosol can of super clean degreaser, and then this big old tub is a you know shake out floor absorbent to uh, pick up any of your spills that you might have in your shop. So. In this video, I wanna, I'm gonna try out a, a few of these uh, products, and um, I think I have the perfect thing uh, that will be a good test for these. And uh, I'll bring it out here right now. Not only is this engine just totally covered in grease and grime, but check out that deck lid. That thing is filthy. I think that's what we're going to use to test the super clean today. Okay, so I wasn't kidding when I said that this was going to be a torture test. It appears that the underside of this deck lid has not been cleaned um, in many years. And um, one of the ways that I know that is just by wiping away a certain amount of the grease. That's original paint under there. And if you watched my previous video about the beetle, you know that this beetle has been repainted several times. Um, and I know that the paint jobs weren't that great and they probably wouldn't have bothered to to, uh, to paint the underside of the deck lid anyway, but that also uh, doesn't mean that they cleaned it, the underside of the deck lid, to paint the outside. So there's a good chance that this has been a buildup over several years. So what I have right here in front of you is kind of a layout of three of the super clean products. So let me get started now. So I have just coated this completely disgusting and filthy, greasy, grimy deck lid to my VW Beetle with original strength, original formula, super clean. I'm going to let it soak for about 10 minutes, but I can already see it kind of soaking into the grease, if that makes any sense to you. And it's already starting to uh, make the the oil and grease kind of fall away and I am starting to see more and more of the paint underneath the, the filth. So I'm gonna let it soak for about 10 minutes and then uh, we'll, we'll take a look and see how hard it is to get this dirt off of this deck lid. Okay, it's time for cleanup. Let's take a look and see how everything looks after soaking. So here's the result after the first application, and that is just using the original formula um, with nothing else. I didn't rinse it with water. I didn't, you know, obviously if I would've used my pressure washer, it probably would've helped. 
Um, this is just straight super clean on that filthy deck lid and one coat letting it sit, or one application letting it sit for 10 minutes and this is what we end up with. Um, so quite an improvement but there's obviously a, still a lot more that needs to get done. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, try round two with the foaming, the foaming aerosol and I'm going to give that a shot now. I, I feel like this might work just a little bit better because when it foams it's going to tend to want to stick to um, the sides uh, and as you can see the parts that did get clean are like the shallowest parts or the flattest parts of this deck lid where the product was able to sit the longest. So let's give this a shot now. I like seeing the foam turn brown because that tells me that it's eating into the grease. <laughs> this does have a little bit of a... oven cleaner smell to it. I mean, I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's whatever the active ingredient is. And, um, but I would definitely recommend using this in a ventilated area. Okay, I'm back at it. I actually let it sit while I uh, went and had some lunch. And as you can see, all the foam has kind of uh, melted down and collected down here in the bottom portion of this. So I'm just going to refresh it with a quick spray and then wipe it down and see what we get. Okay, round two is complete, and as you can see, quite a bit more of the paint is showing through, and there still is a lot of buildup um, and caked on grease on this deck lid. Um, if I had an opportunity to completely submerge this, I think that would probably be the best way to do this. Um, the product keeps drying out, and I have to keep it fresh. But regardless, I'm going to continue on. For round three, I'm going to use the uh, super clean foaming and I'm going to spray it down again and this time I'm going to introduce a little bit of agitation with a brush and hopefully that'll help break up the remainder of this caked on grime. Okay, after all of that work, let's see where we're at. Well, I can already tell that agitation is key for stuff that's really caked on like this. Once I get all of this uh, residue cleaned up, we're probably going to see a fairly clean deck lid. So now that I've gotten the deck lid to this level of cleanliness, I'm going to begin to disassemble everything off of it so I can get it to the final layer or the final stage of cleanliness that I'm looking for. I'm eventually going to do the body work and you know I'll be 
I'll be grinding on this, I'll be welding on this, I'll be painting on this, and so I want to get all of the grease off of both sides. But in order to be able to reach everything, I gotta get all of these bits and pieces, like the latch, and this is actually an electrical box cover. I don't know, previous owner made some type of modification to this. I gotta get the, um, you know, the little, I don't know what you call it, the little license plate uh, cover off and the light and everything like that. So I'm gonna do that right now. So it's interesting things that you uncover once you clean your parts. So the outside of this uh, deck lid was, you know, had very obvious damage all throughout this area and it did look like it was heat related and we didn't know for sure if maybe there was an engine fire or something but having cleaned the inside here's the big reveal you can see by the scorch marks here that there was a significant event we can call it and it likely was a fire that uh, caused that paint damage out there I mean, this whole the hinge area and this whole portion of the deck is just completely black. And um, but besides that, um, I went outside and gave this thing a good rinse, and and hopefully you can tell that uh, there's a huge difference here. And um, I'm pretty impressed with the results that I got. Now, it did take quite a bit of elbow grease to get through that, but this isn't your typical application, in my opinion. Uh, this is kind of a unique situation where that was years and years and years of oil and grime and if this engine wasn't run with the correct pans in place, a lot of road grime would have been kicked up onto that as well. Uh, you know, obviously there was some heat issues going on, possibly the uh, after the fire it doesn't appear that uh, anything was done to repair the deck lid and so... Um, that was quite the challenge for this uh, super clean product, but it out, it actually did a really good job and I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, so I'm, I'm happy to have this in my arsenal now of uh, tools in order to, to clean. So this is the first part of the Beetle project that I've uh, actually worked on. And um, I really wanted to get my hands on something that was going to assist me in cleaning these parts. Um, so I do plan on using this super clean for a lot of these large parts, you know, the fenders and a lot of the large tins, nothing that I can get in a parts washer. I haven't picked up my parts washer yet, and I'm curious if you could use super clean in a parts washer, and maybe the good folks at super clean can let me know. Otherwise, uh, I'll be using whatever else is used, uh, parts cleaner in the uh, washer. Um, I'd like to give uh, super clean a try in an ultrasonic cleaner as well. And so I have some future ideas and if you have any ideas for me and on what I can do with this product, just let me know. Um, I, I'd like to maybe do a head-to-head -head, um, type of shootout with Super Clean versus some of the other popular cleaners out there. Um, specifically Purple Powers, which is what I have used previously in my shop. Um, and they, they appear to be somewhat similar. Uh, I, I, the reason I didn't do a head-to-head -head or some type of a comparison in this video is because I just didn't think it would be fair to either one um, because there's too many variables to try to control and so if I do do some type of comparison between this and another product I would like to have it to be in a more controlled manner and somehow level the playing field and so that you can compare them to each other you know on the exact same part from the exact same location in the Beetle or whatever the case may be. This was just more of a demonstration of some of the products that Super Clean makes. Um, I am grateful that they um, saw my channel and they felt the need to reach out to me and offer me some of their products. As you can see for yourself, it does a great job in uh, taking grease off of certain things and, and this was a heavy duty type uh, application. A lot of your light duty applications would go a lot quicker than this. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Uh, what else would you like to see me use this on and test this out with and uh, anything else but you know I figured I'd jump in with both feet do the torture test first and as you can see the results are pretty decent so that's all I have for this video uh, thanks for watching everybody thanks again to super clean for sending me this care package I really appreciate it and uh, maybe I'll talk to you guys for future collaborations 
Uh, if you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos like this. I've got a whole series on the VW bug that's coming out soon. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.